<laughs> ah, this is a good time to ask this question. Have y'all ever been around somebody? You know, all of y'all hood, right? But this person is so hood and that you know if you keep being in the presence of this person, then things is not going to go good for you. And, and because there's a there's an old saying that says birds to a feather flock together, right? So I was listening to this situation with Eve and Keisha, Keisha Cole. And um Keisha and a lot of people didn't understand why Eve didn't want to hang around with her anymore after um, her behavior. You know, it's not like she didn't like her. She was just like, uh-uh, I can't be with this person because this person will be the kind of person that I get sued with or I'll be in trouble with. Or Now, I want to know, and I respect Eve for that because how many of us have been in situations where we know a person should not we should not be running with this person and they may be fun and kick it with and laugh with but they are too corrupt and what in it in your makeup would want you to be with this person other than to get in trouble you understand what i'm saying because you know that's going to come from it i'll give you an example i remember um where a time when a friend of mine uh, 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 found out some bad things um, about one of her children, you know, and she was very, very upset about it, right? So upset that she was going to go and kill the person that was responsible, right? Now, I can understand that, you know, it, it Although they was a little late, it had been uh, going on for a while, but this person decided to go and kill this person. And the worst part about it is they went, wait until I went to sleep and then they stole my truck and went to go, got up and took my truck to go do it. And I usually don't let people drive my uh, truck. I don't let people drive my cars. I don't let people... I don't do that because, again, you can't trust that they won't do something like that, right? So this person waited while I went to sleep and got in my truck and drove all the way across town looking to hunt somebody down to kill them. Honestly. I thank God that they didn't find the person. Um... And I'm very disappointed in myself for not responding the way Eve did. I should have knew right then that I had no business around that person anymore. But because I wasn't loving myself and wasn't respecting myself enough, I kept that kind of stuff in my presence. So Keisha Cole, you might be fun to do certain things with and you might be um, cool, you know, as far as that goes. But it comes a time when a person's life where they have to really supposed to make up their mind whether they're going to be led by the spirit or they're going to be led by the spirit of ignorance. And at that time, I can truly say if anything had to happen negative to me, there's no way in the world I would have been able to get out of that. Being responsible for somebody's murder and I had nothing to do with it. I was nowhere near the situation. And this is the kind of um, person that I was involved with. And I didn't know. That's why I talk so much about self-love. Because the more you love yourself, the more you're not going to put up with that kind of trash and stuff like that. Because that's all that is, is Trash stuff that's going to get you in trouble. Really. So 
I want to know what y'all think about that. Or have y'all ever had a situation where you might have a homie or a friend that either got you in trouble or could have gotten you in some serious trouble? Um, and how you handled that? And what, what lesson did you learn from that? Um, very important that you learn the lesson. Leave your thoughts below. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video.